What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and today we will be building a stand for my mag drill. So uh, this video is actually based on the work of another YouTuber that I saw. Um, his name is The Metalist, he makes really cool stuff. I think he's a French guy. Um, I'm gonna post a link down below. His video is more um, representative. This video is more DIY. I'll show you guys all the tips and tricks of um, getting this done. You have to forgive me. I'm a little sunburned from uh, skiing. But uh, so let's take a look at the stuff that we have on the table here today to make this project come true. So starting with the most obvious is we have my uh, Chinese mag drill here. I'll post a link to all of these things down in the description below. Um, this thing is really cool. I think it's a lot more powerful, a lot more compact than a drill press. However, it has limitations because it's got to be magnetized down to a piece of metal to really, uh, really work. Um, and uh, the other thing is, is it has a, a chuck for annular cutters, but not drill bits. So that's one of the things we're going to uh, address today. So if you have one of these Chinese mag drills, you need to get one of these guys. This is a keyless chuck. This is from Uctel or Uctel or whatever on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. The key thing to note here is that these uh, import drills have an MT2, Morse taper number two uh, drill chucks. And so you can get all kinds of different drill chucks and different price points for them uh, as long as they are MT2, Morse taper two. Um, now, I've got some 3 8 plate here. You can see there's a design already laid out on it. I wouldn't go lower than a quarter inch on this, but if you have quarter inch plate, you can get away with that. We're going to need a little bit of uh, bar stock here. This is eighth inch by one and a half inch, I think. It's just whatever I had. This is one and a half inch uh, angle iron because we're going to make an adapter for um, cutting tube. Uh, so this will be able to tubing notcher as well. Um, this right here is a uh, 5 8 by 13 tap. This is for our all thread. This is a 1 half by 13 tap. These are for our vice bolts. This is just a machinist's vice. Um, it'll actually bolt into here. I'll show you guys how that works in a second. Um, but I have this. This is from Harbor Freight. I can't imagine it cost me more than $20 back in the day. Um, this is some 5 8 all thread. I just picked this up at Home Depot. And then this is our kind of assorted pile of hardware. We've got 12 5 8 washers, 12 5 8 nuts, and two half inch bolts. These are to hold down the, um, the vise. So if we come over here, you can kind of take a look at this. Um, this will make a little bit more sense. Basically, it's a three layers. So you have a base plate, the vise will bolt to right here. Um, these, we're gonna drill and tap these half inch holes here. And the all thread will screw in here into this base and thread upwards. Then over here is the plate that it, the uh, mag drill is going to rest on. We're going to have basically um, little vertical bump stops on all sides. So the mag drill locks in. It gives it a place to lock in. And these will be 5 8 inch holes. And the nuts will allow you to adjust up and down. In beach, and underneath this, there will be a piece of angle iron that holds tube right down the middle. So you can use it as a notcher. And then these two right here will basically just be straps to hold the bottom of the tube as kind of an intermediary layer. So with that said, unfortunately, my um, air compressor pressure switch took a shit on me. I haven't had been able to get uh, replacement parts for it just yet. So we're going to have to do this the old messy grindery way. Um, so you'll see me wear some uh, PPE that I normally don't wear. Um, but this is kind of a bird's eye view of all the stuff that you need. Uh, it's really not a big deal. However, it does add up fairly quick. You're looking at probably a hundred bucks worth of materials on this table, all said and done, including the chucks and the taps and stuff like that. Um, but this will allow me to use this as a drill press, uh, which is something I've been needing. And frankly, I think this is way better than one of those cheapy Harbor Freight uh, type drill presses. I have one of those. This is in the shed. I almost never use it because it just doesn't have the beef. Uh, I need in a compact size and hopefully when this is done I can use the mag drill as a mag drill but I can also take it off and use it on the stand um, in order to work on smaller parts. So now that we have everything marked out laid up the next step is I'm going to use this 9 16 annular cutter to drill the holes that we're going to use to tap um, and then I'm going to use the 11 16 annular cutter to cut out all the other holes 
uh, because they will be slipped through and they'll be uh, held, skewered by nuts. So well, now that we've got the four, first four holes drilled, we're actually gonna thread the rod into these. So I've got my 5 8 by 11 tap. I actually have a nice set of Lyle uh, tap drivers, but not in this size. So we're just using the 10 millimeter. And uh, honestly, I think I cut, I think technically 916 is like um, uh, 130 second, or yeah, 130 second too much. So it's a pretty easy, easy cut for this tap, or maybe it's just a nice tap, I don't know. But it basically just cuts right on through, straightens itself out. That's all there is to it. I'm going to tap the other two holes uh, and then we'll drill the rest of it. So now we got to drill the half inch holes for the vise. And this is actually the first time I changed this uh, chuck in here. So this is a decent drill bit, I think. Um, so we're going to give it a go. It's the first time I've used this uh, drill in, you know, with a, this chuck with this drill. Seems to work pretty good. Now we can tap those holes and uh, get ready to cut this out. So there we go. We got all our holes drilled. Um, uh, unfortunately and predictably, the one chamfer bit I actually need to chamfer these holes, I cannot find. <laughs> and all the other ones are too small. So we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. They're pretty clean, clean cut holes here. We'll hit them with the angle grinder a little bit. But the next part is my least favorite part, which is we need to cut all of this out. And unfortunately, because my um, plasma cutter is down, because I have no compressed air, because Amazon sucks, um, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way with uh, angle grinder bits. Um, but it's a good example to show people that you don't need a bunch of fancy equipment. You can totally do this with an angle grinder. It's just a little more gross. Um, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> put on some protective gear, get the angle grinder out, and start cutting. I'm probably not going to film this part, because it's just a lot of noise and a lot of time. Okay, so all you guys really missed was just a bunch of cutting and grinding. So now we've got these plates stuck up. And I can't say that this looks particularly straight, but it seems to slide up and down okay. So the next step is we've threaded these in on the backside. I've left a little bit of a divot. We're going to weld these four guys in place. And then basically just assemble, uh, assemble this unit. And we've got a few things to weld in like these uh, tabs that I cut, their retention for the uh, uh, drill, and this, which is our pipe jig. Um, all of that should be pretty straightforward, so uh, let's, let's weld it all together. Okay, so here is the final product. Um, I know we jumped a little bit, but really there wasn't anything uh, uh, to film, and I'm without my tripod today. It's just a mess in general. Basically, I just welded on these little tabs, kind of help uh, locate this guy every time the same way. Um, these bars down here are so that you can pinch a pipe, and if I can bring the phone around, you can see the drill bit goes down immediately in the middle. So if you have a piece of pipe sticking out here, you can have a hole saw in here and then basically drill it out. Um, 
you know, we have the vise mounted down here. It can move around quite a bit depending on, uh, oops, you know, what's required. Or you can take the screws out entirely and obviously move something else around. Um, I have it set a little bit lower right now. So this, this drill bit will actually reach all the way down to the base plate. Um, but you can obviously adjust the height using these screws. So all in all, not a bad little project. Um, this will definitely get used in future videos. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, you know, content isn't as uh, as regular as it once was, but uh, I'm still trying to trying to make good videos for you guys that I hope you enjoy. So that's it. I love you guys. Peace.